really true advancements in childhood cancer research um, and to make a difference against childhood cancer research, including brain tumors. Um, it's my pleasure to introduce Congresswoman Barbara Comstock from Virginia. Fortunately, she didn't have to come far to join us, and we're so grateful that you're here today. Sorry, I came here earlier. Thank all of you so much for being here. And to my constituents again that I got to visit with last week. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well, you guys have me as a low on the legislation, so I really you know, we we're we're all set there, and we know how important it is. But I am so thrilled that you are here because you have such an important role in going and talking to all of your representatives and putting a face on this issue and just making it that much more imperative. Because right now we are making these significant new investments at NIH. And we also have people in the private sector who are making great investments. And so the synergies that are going on at this time are really exciting and we need to continue it and demonstrate that we on our end, that this is going to be something like, get in here on the ground level. We want the best, you know, the best research people to be going into these fields, knowing that we are going to continue to have the money there for these research efforts and know that we want to get the policies in place that help us get better results and faster results from all of the um, money that we are investing both in the private and public sector. But this really needs to be a partnership on all fronts. And I think one of the most important parts is the role you play because all the families that need to deal with this you know you're being your own researchers i, I have a friend of mine right now who's um, i was talking to the other day she has, she has throat cancer but she said i'm amazed at how much i have to research myself they admit something going back in and she's doing all of this research herself you all know what you end up doing and in, in be, becoming part of the team but I think that's really important because that's why I always listen to the family members because I know, and have, you know, whatever the issue, you know, health issue it is, the family all gets engaged and involved and ends up knowing this as much as any surgeon or doctor or researcher does, and just as well. And I think that's exciting because you become an essential partner. So we know over the last 30 years, we have not had enough progress in new treatments for brain tumors, let alone a cure. So that's why I have a, a bill. I mean, there's a number of bills I know you're all supporting. Um, my childhood cancer bill would take money that's just sitting over at the Treasury Department doing nothing. Um, if, if you all just filled out your tax forms, you know, there's a little box you can check that says you want to uh, put money to the, um, what's it called, the Presidential uh, Matching Fund. So people check it off. There's $320 million. The only problem is, no candidates since 2008 have been interested, nor no main Republican or Democrat candidates want to do the matching funds anymore because they wouldn't be able to spend enough money. So they don't take the money. So it's just sitting there, we still take it in, people check off the box and it goes in, but that money is sitting there doing nothing. So we said, why don't we take that money? And Tom Cole, who as you know is on the Appropriations Committee working on this, he, he had this, uh, you know, he's, he's all on board too. Take that money that's sitting there and let's put it over at NIH to research childhood cancer and brain tumors and be able to make sure that we can put it to good use instead of having it sit doing nothing, right? So we've had a $3 billion increase in the NIH money, um, which is the largest increase that we've had in almost a decade. And we are going to continue to work on that. You have a great friend um, in Tom Cole in research. He is somebody who's just very passionate about this. You have Folks like Mike McCall, I know you've worked with, and the great thing about this is, this is everybody's on board. This is bipartisan. It's bicameral. You know, we are able to really push this to the top of the list. And I know I was just did you hear from Mike? Yep. Not in yet. Well, you know, I, it's fly-in day, so some of the guys aren't here yet. But we did just recently talk about this, and you know, and getting the bill now that it's passed the Senate, get it back over here in the House, and let's get that through. Right? That's an easy no brainer so to speak so we really are you, you have a team of people who are, are pushing for that so thank you for being here please know 